There are a lot of beautiful built-in stitches in the Baby Lock Brilliance and they're very easy to access. When you look at your stitch lid, you'll find that there is a key. And I can see this leaf stitch with the number one. I can see that down here on the screen and I'm gonna to touch that. And it just lets me know that it's clearing away whatever is on the screen. And now I can select each of those stitches by number. So let's pick the heart. We'll select stitch number 23. And it shows me the heart right on screen. When you're working in the decorative stitch menus though, you are automatically in what we call sequencing mode. So I could select another stitch. We'll try number 25. And now I have a heart and the circular ball stitch. Now I could add another heart, for example. So we'll go back and select number 23 again. But what's neat about this is that I even have the ability to mirror image. So if I mirror image that last heart, it flips it upside down and it lets me know that it is mirrored, but it only mirrors what is highlighted with the black box. Let's add one more of stitch number 25. And now we've created a sequence of four different stitches and it shows me what those four will look like together. Now I can also see what it would look like continuously. We are currently in what's called single stitch mode. And I can tell because there's one heart, one full heart up here on the screen. It's letting me know what my stitch combination will look like. But if I touch this icon here, it's a heart and then a heart and half, we'll touch that. Now on screen, I can see the heart and the half of a heart and a continuous row of my stitching. So now we're in what we call continuous pattern mode. So we can stitch and see what our decorative stitch will look like. And I've got the end foot on. The machine is letting me know for these decorative stitches, I need to use the end foot. That's what's going to allow the fabric to flow freely through the stitches. And on screen, you can see the stitches change. It lets me know which stitch I'm on as it's stitching. Now, if I were to just automatically stop right now in the middle of my stitch and cut my threads, I've left off partway through one of my circular stitches. Now, if I were to begin stitching exactly where I am, it's gonna pick up where I left off. But if you want to start a brand new row of stitches and you wanna start back from the beginning of the stitch, or the sequence you've created, you can touch this icon here. This is pattern restart. And that automatically takes us right back to the beginning of our stitch sequence, which in this case is a heart stitch. If you want the control of being able to stitch a full sequence and then stop without having to try and guess when you've reached the end of a stitch, we can touch the reinforcement button and the machine is now going to complete the stitch that it's on and then stop instead of leaving off in the middle of one of our decorative stitches. So there's our cute little sequence. So we've got our heart, our circle, our upside down heart, our circle, and now we're back to the beginning of the sequence again. If you've created a sequence like this that you really like and you don't wanna to have to remember how to recreate it later, you can always save this into the memory of the machine. Anytime you see a pocket with an arrow going into it, you're asking the machine to save a stitch into the memory. And you can select any memory pocket that you like and then just say okay. And it's saved. We can easily access what's in the memory by coming back to this key here. If you give this two touches, and it's asking, is it okay to delete the current selection? Yes, I've already saved it. One more time. And here I can see everything that's saved into the memory of my machine. You could arrow down and select the stitch that you want, then say okay, and now it has reappeared for me. Another fun style of decorative stitches can be found in the second category. So we'll touch the leaf stitch twice. And they are built-in satin stitches. So let's select stitch number 13. Now, when I selected this stitch, it added it right in the middle of my sequence. It thinks that this is adding another element to the sequence. So we're going to clear out. Each time I touch clear, it erases an element of my pattern. And now I can select stitch number 13. And I just have that satin stitch. Now there are some special features built into these satin stitches. Let's take a look at one of these stitches so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to touch reinforcement so that it will stitch one and then stop. We'll cut the threads and take a peek. 
And that is what this satin stitch looks like. I'm using a 40 weight rayon embroidery thread. And so this stitch looks just a little bit sparse to me. It's not completely filled in. Well, the solution is built right into the Brilliant. If we select the settings key and then arrow through the pages until we find thread density, we can make this denser. There we go. And now I'll say okay. And let's stitch another one of our satin stitches just so that we can kind of compare what they look like. I'm going to touch reinforcement so it stitches only one. And we'll cut. And there we have our higher density. And you can see that the stitch is filled in a little bit more. Another option for settings can be found on page three of our settings, and it's called stitch elongation. Each of these satin stitches is built into the machine in five different sizes. Right now, it's on the medium size. We can arrow back to the smallest, and we'll stitch one. And I'll use my reinforcement key once again to get just one stitch. And then we can move into the largest size, which is number five. There we go, and we'll stitch another so you can see the difference. So now I'll cut my threads. And here we can see this is our original size, so the medium size. This is the smallest and this is the largest and there are two additional sizes as well. So you can really play with the satin stitches that are built in and if we look at the screen you'll see that we do have the ability still to tweak the length and the width of each of those stitches but sometimes when you adjust those sizes you distort the look of the stitch. So it's nice that they're built in in two different densities and in five different sizes.